what's going on, y'all? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And you're about to watch a little OTB LSU. We're going to give you all the latest, greatest between LSU football, baseball, women's basketball, softball, and everything in between. Bottom line, if you want to talk Tigers, keep it locked, subscribe, like it, and uh, we hope you enjoy this. Football schedules dropped yesterday, 2024, the reforging. The 2024 gene of college football, right? Where everything is suddenly new. Oklahoma and Texas entering the SEC. We said yesterday that every team in the SEC would say would play either Oklahoma or Texas. And now we know uh, not the timing of the schedules, but we do know the home and away slates for each team. In case you missed it, we'll start with the Tigers. Uh, your home games are going to consist of Alabama, Ole Miss, Oklahoma, and Vanderbilt, okay, nice little friendly draw there at the end. You know, Oklahoma at home also, um, where you'd want to play them in your first time squaring up. You're going to go to Arkansas, to the Swamp, Jake. Okay, hey. there you go. Bro. Florida not going anywhere just yet. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> to South Carolina, which good. For, that, that's a great trip. That yes. stadium's awesome. And probably even more rocking then. And uh, then you're going to go to College Station. Uh, and, of course, like we said, this is also with USC and Vegas to start the season and uh, UCLA making a return trip to Baton Rouge. So a couple of West Coast Big Ten teams thrown on top in the 2024 gene. When it comes to LSU schedule, uh, Jake, what jumps out to you? LSU schedule, probably Oklahoma and not Texas. I just yep. felt like Texas was going to be almost a staple with LSU in their schedule, and certainly the first year when you could kind of control the way that it played out. I just, I'm just i a little surprised that it's Oklahoma and not Texas. We've seen LSU play at Texas in 2019 and everything surrounding that game. You don't get the return trip to Baton Rouge, right, because of the pandemic. I just figured that that would be a deal. I yeah. didn't, you know, Oklahoma and LSU, okay, they've played as well. I'm not saying I hate that game. They played a national championship game. But you just thought that maybe because you didn't get that return trip from Texas, you would throw it in there in the first year. So, uh, and, and we'll look between who got the better draw between Oklahoma and Texas. Look, I said it uh, yesterday. I think I think we talked about it where I would rather, if, if the choice was who do you want to play, Oklahoma or Texas, um, I would choose Oklahoma right now. Uh, and it's crazy and it's really, in my opinion, a slide against Brent Venables that I would choose that because there's no way that I should choose that. Yeah. If you look at the last 30 years, but I feel like even even with a capped Sark, like this is not to say that I think that Texas is going to be very good because I'm not a Sark believer, but even Sark appears to be a better head coach than Brent Venables. Maybe I have to eat all these words, but again, from where I sit, I see Brent Venables having no head coaching experience and going six and seven at a school that had 24 consecutive winning seasons. Uh, and that, uh, I mean, that's about as massive a red flag as you could yeah, like possibly winning find. as winning seasons. So too. that's it. Yeah. In the last dozen years, yeah. only two of the dozen, did they not win 10 games? Right. So yeah. So not, you're right. Not just seven and six, eight and five yeah. records, 11 and two, 11 and two, uh, 12. Well, like, like, yes, like, or 11 and three, 12, three, like whatever, just the, one of the best programs in the entire country. So I'm, and, and, and I mean, again, you can't discount that Venables came from this um, this Dabo Sweeney ecosystem, which is weird and odd yeah. and maybe not representative of like a lot of the rest of college. But look, he recruited very well. Maybe I eat my words. But I feel like I'd rather play Oklahoma here if we're just talking about win. Yeah, it might change from now till then. I, college football can change certainly in a calendar year now, unlike yeah. it used to. But still, yeah, I'm going to agree with you. Oklahoma right now, where they look, where they're going compared to Texas, neither one of them are skyrocketing, but certainly Texas in a better position with Arch Manning and, and Quinn Ewers potentially could still be there than you feel about Oklahoma. Another thing that stood out to me, T, no Auburn. Yeah, I mean, that jumps off the page. That is definitely the biggest, oh, okay, we really are yeah. in a new era of, uh, of SEC football. No Mississippi State. For the first time in like a hundred years. Yeah, you've you've played them more than any school ever. I mean, I still think when you go three permanent opponents, I still think Alabama, A and M, Mississippi State is probably the play. Um, Auburn just got too many other rivals that take precedent over yeah. you. That game has meant something because of how weird it's been. Like yeah, the series yes. history yes. and all of the events that you've had, and you could say, well, that's what creates a rivalry. It is, but to T's point. They've got the Iron Bowl. They've got the South Oldest rivalry. So 
even with the games and the craziness that you've had with that school, you still are going to be what third? Yeah, and you can't make them play Georgia, Alabama, and LSU no. every year. Like that's no. like that's a, that's a step too. That's a bridge too far. Uh so I, I I think that and also Auburn's a bit weird and where it's a bit it depends on when you were born, right? Because if your f- main fandom was kind of like the early two thousands, well then you witnessed a time in which seemingly whoever won the game between LSU and Auburn was winning the SEC West and maybe going to the SEC Championship, potentially even National Championship. So it's 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 definitely one of those where and again you mentioned the oddness, even though it's a new rivalry. Uh, games have always found yeah. a way to get weird, even when the team sucked. Like when, when yes. it was less miles, Gus Malzahn, loser gets fired. Like, yeah, there's been some just His really Mad odd Max. setups. Two man yes. enter, one man leave. The SEC Thunderdome. Never forget it, dude. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, Jake, if Auburn had to be sacrificed to create this schedule, it's a great slate. Yeah. And, and it's pretty friendly as well, I would say, uh, relative Oh, I do. I agree. Level. I agree. Again, it can change, but right now you feel pretty good. You got, you have really good games, but you don't have what say Florida, Oklahoma, and Texas have. So okay, so help me out here because I actually kind of view hmm. it for so for Florida, it's the totality of their schedule. For Oklahoma, it's the SEC portion of their schedule. Let me lay out Florida for you, T. Yeah, Miami, and then you got Sanford, but then you have. UCF, who's going to be in the Big 12 then, yeah, yeah. Georgia, Florida State, Kentucky, LSU, Ole Miss, A&M, Mississippi State, Tennessee, Texas. On the road against Tennessee, on the road against Texas, yeah. on the road against Florida State. Yeah, and on the road against Georgia for Florida. Well, I mean, neutral side, but yeah. Oh, not, duh, never mind. But not at Cocktail home. Party. You're right, you're right, you're right. My bad. Um. Mm. That so you think Florida maybe got the worst? I think Oklahoma. Oklahoma like has the, the worst, worst draw of the SEC. I think. Yeah, Florida because you throw in UCF, Miami, and Florida State. I feel like Texas got Texas got a, a pretty tough one, but they got a couple bones thrown their way. I mean, yeah. they got Mississippi State put in there at home. They're third in that question. They got Kentucky sure. put in there at home. Um, I do like that they have to go to Arkansas. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, will that A and M game between Arkansas and A and M still remain uh, a in Dallas neutral uh, site? I would assume. I just you know with Jerry's history, obviously with Arkansas, it, I, I don't like it. Texas gets I, Vanderbilt. I think, as well. I'm pretty sure Sam Pittman told us a couple of weeks ago he didn't like it either. Like he wanted that game to be kind of a I home see home situation. Well, Sam just needs to worry about not finding the most absurd ways to lose that game possible. True. Like all, all Arkansas should have beaten A and M every year. It feels like for the past like five in that game, and yet they always find a way to screw it up. Um, Oklahoma, I think yes, easily has the hardest SEC slate at anybody. At home, they got Alabama, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, uh, and then on That'll the road, Dallas still. So that we do have confirmation that's still going to be in Dallas. Okay, and then on the road, they have Auburn, LSU, Ole Miss, and Mizzou. Like Mizzou, probably the easiest of the bunch, but. Ole Miss is pretty good. Auburn, I think uh, year two under Hugh Freeze will be training towards pretty good. We all know that Brian Kelly by 2024 in LSU should be as strong as ever. Like Oklahoma, welcome to the SEC. And it all comes at a time where you're completely insecure about your head coach and whether or not you have the right man in charge. So it's, I, I, think, I, think, I think yesterday was a bit of a tough yeah. day to be a boomer. I think so. That This is the payback for a boomer sooner. Yeah, exactly. Guy. I didn't even think about it. Exactly. Big game boomer. Who got the easiest draw? Of the bunch, do you think? Well, it wasn't they're, Georgia. They're not say there's anything easy here. Georgia, actually, for all the things that we've talked about with their schedule this year, uh, they are going to have some tough games. They will play Alabama. That's going to be that's one of the headliners from the SEC schedule release. Yeah. That Georgia and Alabama are going to play each other in the. Do they open season. with Clemson as well. I believe so. Georgia, I yeah. believe that is correct. Um, yeah, Alabama. People are acting like Alabama got a super hard draw. I mean, there are certainly high highs, but. They also catch Mizzou, South Carolina, and Vandy. Mm-hmm. I mean, what are we talking about? Does anybody else have Mizzou, South Carolina, and Vandy on the schedule? Um, LSU comes close. Yeah. They're only missing the Mizzou portion. So, no, I mean, I, I don't know. I, th- I think the Alabama thing is kind of trumped up a little bit. But I love these schedules. I think they look awesome. And, and, I, and I think this is going to be what a year for LSU football in which on top of this, 
on top of Oklahoma at home, Alabama at home, Ole Miss and everything, uh, you get to do some of the coolest road trips with the Swamp, going to uh, South Carolina, back to College Field, and or College Station, excuse me, and you'll take on USC in Vegas and UCLA at home. Like, that's, that's maybe the best schedule I've ever seen. Wow, Jake, what incredible takes. I mean, those guys, they're just the best. Uh, I think so. And if you think so, again, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post every single day here on OTB LSU.